Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is a Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on line traces. Let's go ahead and play the final product right now. Right now, we on every tick, we are shooting out a line trace, and that line trace returns the the uh, impact point, the normal point, and the name of the actor that's hitting. So, without any further ado, let's delete this and go ahead and recreate it in C++. Again, you never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down below with the uh, with the code so you can always just grab the code and move along but if not let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial let's jump into our character files open up your ide of choice i have visual code uh so right now um i want to go into the character's header file mine's going to be cpp touch character um yours will be whatever your product's name is character.h uh, i'm going to scroll down to this public area and we want to override the tick function virtual void tick float delta time override that should be it for the header file let's jump into the .cpp file uh, the first thing we want to do is include debug helpers so we can visualize the line trace so that's hashtag include draw debug helpers dot h now let's go down uh, right before the begin play function. Let's go ahead and create our tick function. And this is where all of our logic will go. Void a CPP touch character. Uh, tick super, no, float delta time. Super colon colon tick delta time. Uh, we want to create a hit result and we want it to be called out hit. That should suffice. Um, effector start. Where do we want to start this thing? And personally, I do want to start it from the gun, not the camera. You can start it from the camera, but in this example, we'll start it from the gun. It's going to be fp gun um, get component location. So we're getting the, the location of uh, the gun. F vector end. Uh, no, let's do the forward vector first because we want it to always move out uh, forward. Uh, the gun, we're, we're going to get the forward vector of the camera because we are in first person view. So let's go ahead and get that. Um, F vector, uh, forward vector, for, forward vector equals first <coughs> person camera component. I uh, get forward vector, semicolon. Now let's do our end, F vector end equals forward vector. Uh, uh, forward vector times a thousand so it'll go out a thousand units and so it's a thousand user units plus our starting point so plus start I actually want to move start at the beginning it makes more sense to me start plus forward vector let's set up our collision params Collision, F collision, query params. Uh, capital P. Just call it collision params. Semicolon. And now let's draw our debug line so we can visualize our line trace. It's going to be get world. We're going to start it at the actor location, at the uh, gun location, and end it with the forward vector in 1000 plus. A thousand units being added to it. F color, you can make it whatever you want. Let's make it green. Uh, false to erase it after being drawn. Zero, one, uh, one. There we go. Now, if we if the line trace does hit something, let's go ahead and uh, draw print to the screen what you know the information, or do another function. So, get world. 
you know what, let's put this in a bool. I want to put it in a bool just so we can visualize it. Bool is hit. Let me get this out of the way so it's less confusing. Um, get world. Uh, line trace. Line trace single by channel. So, line trace single by channel. Out hit. So if we hit something, we're going to uh, put it as our out hit f hit result variable. We want to start it, end it in the start end variables. EC visibility. We'll create ECC. Visibility. And then our collision will params. All right. So if that's true. So if is hit is true, what do you want to do with it? If out hit dot b blocking hit, which means did the out hit have a blocking hit? Is that true? Let's go ahead and just print out the information. So we'll print it out to the screen g engine. Uh, if that's true, do this g engine add on screen debug message. Negative one. Uh, have it visible for one second. F color red. F string. Print F. Lowercase F. Uh, text. Um, you are hitting. Colon uh, percent sign S to represent. We're gonna pass in a string. Uh, a comma point to the out hit and we're gonna get the name of the out hit by doing out hit dot get actor uh, arrow operator get name that should be it for the first one I'm gonna copy and paste it and just do two more so we can just have some more examples of what kind of information we can get from this actor that we hit Uh, da, 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 da. What's, what's the next one? Let's do the impact point. Impact point point percent sign S, and we're gonna do out hit dot impact point. All right. It has to be impact point dot to string. Uh, just double checking that, see if it's right. I spelled that wrong. There we go. Impact point. And now we'll do the same thing down here, um, but it'll be um, impact normal dot to string. And we'll change this to instead of impact point, it will be normal. Point. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and uh, compile and see if it works. All right, so I got an error. Let's go ahead and debug it and get past this as soon as possible. Okay, uh, the first one I see is line trace by single. Um, I have a lowercase b. Got to increase the b, capitalize the b. Uh, I'm missing a one one one. I'm think I'm missing a uh, semicolon. Oh no, I think I'm missing closing parentheses. Two closing parentheses actually. That one's good. Let's see if that works. If not, it shouldn't be too hard to fix. All right, one more error. Uh, on line 112, I have an illegal operation. Uh, 112, G engine. <laughs> there we go. I did a little too much work. All right, that should work. Put the parentheses on the two string method. Now it compiles, let's push play and see what happens. So now we push play, we have the green lines back and every time we interact with an object, we are getting a uh, result back. You know what, let's change the color on some of these. Uh, these are red, go green, 
go purple. Recompile. And so you, you should always begin the impact point and the name. So what's this name right here? Um, this is Big Wall 2. This is Editor Cube 11. This is Floor 12. And this is Big Wall. And there you have it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.